this matchup on this stage. It's a, uh, it goes, it's pretty even. I don't think Tommy Bond's going to win. I think he's going to win. Okay. Yeah, he's going to win. Yeah, he knows. He knows that Fox gets spanked by Peach, especially on uh, on this, not actually on this stage. Besides, besides Dreamland, I would say. It's the only stage he doesn't get spanked, but then again, it's still even since she can't get, she can get spanked, but she'll, she'll still live a long time. Alright, so the first match will be on the first stage he probably could have gone to. Uh, he gotta be mindful of um, not letting Peach uh, pull a turn. Huh? You say mouth? No, I say he gotta be mindful. Oh, mindful. Oh, I'm sorry. Of not letting Peach pull up a turn up. But know. he gotta stay at a range to where yeah. he's um, also protected. Alright, and Baka tried to go for the ledge right there, uh, rightly so. Got intercepted by the B, but ultimately just finished off that sock. He finished it off pretty, uh, pretty handily. Now he jumps, so he's gonna have just the flow. I don't think he has a jump afterwards. Alright, he's throwing the stage here, dodges. Baka's gonna go, oh, see, he ran away, making it seem like he was gonna go to the turn up and come back with the floor with the running A. Gets the turn up. Often not to re grab it, throw it again. Probably a smarter move since. Uh, Mark can, can forward air right through those turnups and then and punish punish Pete out of oh comes up with the, the counter. No, he kinda threw that that card out a little early in my opinion and now Baka knows that he will opt for that uh, option to uh, be a little bit safer at the point you're going to try to be as not safe as possible until the very end. Uh, if it does go to last stock. Last stock. Oh, oh and he jumps. Great option by Baka. Very punishable, but uh, it's still cheap. Or, I'm sorry, Peach doesn't have many options uh, versus Marth at that range, especially. So if you just choose your position very carefully. But right there, that air dodge was really smart. Go down, down, down. Oh, that's supposed to be a wave dash up, up, up tilt. Wave dash up tilt? Yeah. yeah which is, that's a great kill move. There you go, that should be up tilt. There we go. Now, you're stuck to two star. Alright. Tyrone wants to avoid the right now. So, Bok for a while. Oh, he could have grabbed. He tries to, try to do that running A, but he did it too quickly and didn't jump over the up tilt. If he got a tip, he could have got a lot of damage out of that. Off that down smash. Yeah. Alright, so we, now you can expect that four smash of down smash. You gotta be quick. Baka's... Baka's got me. No scrub. He's gonna, he's gonna go in if you don't take your chance to punish. He knows better. He knows that people try to fish for stuff versus Peach. And if you don't go for it, if you don't pull in when, when that fish uh, bites that line, <laughs> that fish is going to get away and you're going to get punished for it. Okay, no fish for you. Yep. Shout out to Waterless Fishy. Waterless Fish? Waterless Fish. Oh, oh he's Waterless Fish right now? Okay. I'll try to look Right now, Tommy Ball just having a problem with, with the turnups, man. Tommy Ball does play Fox, but Fox versus uh, Peach is it's really hard. And the way Tommy Ball plays, he, uh, I'm sure that he's he's, he's afraid of of the down smash. What it is? Yeah, he plays very technical. Man. Versus someone that has a down smash like Peach is, I don't think it would be in his favor. Good for him, but his match is there. You know, so now he waited for the up tilt and, and punished accordingly. It's a great punish. Right, now Baka held that shield really nicely. All right, air dodges upwards, unsafe. However, he doesn't get punished for it. Baka slaps him, grabs down throw. Ooh, he should have DI'd him to get hit by the, the running A, but he didn't. And uh, it would have worked out in his favor. Alright, now up to wow. Oh, I felt like that was a great option, but he just, he just over, overestimated that distance. Alright, that's gonna be a tie. Alright, so game one goes to Baka for Bowen's uh, winner's quarters. So the winner of this goes on to play best friend John. Yeah. I feel like I should have had that. I'm thinking, I'm gonna have to dig deep find out what he wants to do to fight this monster of a peach known as Baka from Mo from Georgia.
Georgia. Originally from Houston, but I think he resides in Georgia for school. Yeah. Shout out to Georgia, man. Georgia has a lot of great players. Just stay Marth. Wow. He was really not like the Fox Beach version. And he goes, oh, that's great. He doesn't go really high up. So he gets back here. I can tell you right now, um, Tom Bomb isn't really too confident in his tech skill to play uh, Fox for Falco right now. So he's like, I'd rather play the spacing game. Yeah. Is he right there? Right when he down smash, he should have went in and punished for it. But Tarabam's Tower Bomb's being unsure of himself when it comes to Oh, good shield. I feel like that down smash shield wasn't the best option to do right there. Oh uh, he waited it's too one late. of those players. One of those players that does not back her after the tech. Oh, that was oh, a nice was conversion nice play. Come back. I'm not used to people living at the march down. I know, down there. Me, neither, me neither, but Peach is so light that she can come back. Oh, nice. Very nice. That's and a nice snuck to Yeah, that was a nice kill. Looks like his Marth is a pretty, pretty weathered when it comes uh. to the light character matchup. Man, it's just so hard to fight this match with Marth. It is. It is hard, man. If Peach, if Peach gets underneath you, then it's, it's hard. If she keeps holding those turn ups, we'll see. She can grab, she can punish that roll. That roll is not efficient. Not optimal, I would say. It's like, it's just, it's hard oh. to get her, if you don't kill her right, within the combo, mm -hmm. it's, it's really hard to open up to get that hit you need. Yeah, because Peach has a, has a entourage of different moves and air dodges, flows, three, three frame nares, two, or two frame, I'm not sure exactly. And then she got the float the way she's going to come back. Yeah. Oh, man, he's going to grab the ledge though, backwards and grab the ledge, the fastest way that Peach can, Peach can grab the ledge. Oh, I'm surprised he didn't get spun off of that. Gets the grab, gets it. Oh, no. That's our own. That happens. Oh, and that lasted longer than Tower Bomb, I believe, expected. I believe Tower Bomb is 3 for 3 on his um, counters. He's been throwing it out when he needed to. See, Baka's not going to fall for that, man. Baka knows he's going to stay in shield, and when the opportunity arises, he's going to jump out of it, and he's going to wave dash out of it, if not there. Because he knows how dangerous it can be. Uh, he's got to... Oh wow, that movement was really good. Did he get there out of that for that force rush? Alright, so alright, yep. And lost footing. Jump backwards. Ooh, and Paco pulled uh oh, you got the stitch face. I call it a grandpa, but uh I call stitch face. Um people are playing what we call it KO. Okay. <laughs> you get hit by it, it's gonna KO you. That's a KO move, yeah. Oh, that's it's looking it's looking like a rap right there. Ooh, and we're living, we're living, yeah, Baka's still great, yeah, great, yeah, Baka. Oh, he's gonna take that. That was an air. Um, up tilt to kill, but he, he was too far, too far behind. And let's turn, oh, when he gets a out of this. And that should be the stock. Baka's like, man, I really wanted that first stock. <laughs> greedy, greedy, greedy. Ah, uh, nice um, decision to oh, go low. Oh, I felt like he fast fell. After that, I'll be trying not to get down so much, but who knows? Anyways, great matches. Uh, Baka is definitely showing up in his matchup. I've never doubted his part matchup. I used to play him. Not often, but uh, when we did play, we played for hours on him.